Hi booktube, Lynette here and today's video is going to be my March wrap up. So if you saw my March TBR video then you'll know that I'm actually going to be doing a vlog style wrap up this month rather than the sit down chat at the camera uh, style that I've done in the past. Now this is purely because at the moment I'm still moving. I'm almost unpacked but I haven't figured out filming or anything yet so again i'm doing this on my handheld tripod um so apologies if this is a little bit wobbly i've got it resting on my knee right now trying to keep it steady um but yeah i thought i would have a go and do my wrap up this way for the month just to take some pressure off uh when it comes to doing the um videos for the end of the month so i have already finished two books now when i filmed the video um about what i was going to be reading this month i had finished a book i didn't add it in uh because it was a carryover from february now that first book is called corralled and it was by Lorelei james this is a very steamy very hot uh romance novel it's about a young woman laney who is a med assistant medical assistant on the um rodeo circuit in america and she's normally the shy retiring type she's not the type that would normally get involved with two guys at the same time but at the start of this book she is and she comes to find out that hank and kyle who are the two men in question actually know each other so we go from there um and what happens after that both men want to stay involved with laney um and laney doesn't really want to have to choose between them so they enter into an agreement whereby she's with both of them while they are traveling the rodeo circuit um it, i think it's referred to as the cowboy christmas because they move on and do lots of different rodeos in a very short space of time and she goes on the road with both of them together um like i say it's very hot very steamy uh lots of uh <clears throat> three-way sessions and lots of individual uh one-on-one -on -one sessions um and yeah which i absolutely adore lorelei james for um i've really only read her um mckay series before and i absolutely love that i've read that through a couple of times so to move on to corralled which is her blacktop cowboys series um i was really looking forward to trying out her different styles um and different settings so and but i know i love her writing anyway so i really enjoyed this at the end of what was quite a stressful february for me um basically i just needed something that was going to take me away from all of that and romance is the genre that does that for me so it really did start march off very well and i'm really happy that i picked it up and it's definitely given me a taste for more of lorelei's hot and steamy writing it's just a shame i can't really afford much of it right now so then we go into the books that i actually am picking for march and if you saw the March TBR, then you'll know that I am picking books as I go, but I'm using the random generator to select the books. And the first selection that came up, uh, I showed in that video, and that was to read a book set in the 90s. And so the first book that I chose is Survive the Night by Riley Sager. This is set in 1991 and it's about a young woman uh, who has decided that she needs to leave college and go home and she puts up an advert on a notice board asking for someone who's going in the same direction to give her a ride because she doesn't want to drive herself and a young man takes her up on this uh, she believes he's another student around campus um, and she agrees to go with him only there has been a series of murders and while she's traveling with him uh she gets the impression that he is the murderer responsible i can't say anything more than that it is a thriller and i'm so glad i picked this book up i absolutely loved it um 
it had a great twist which i didn't see coming um i had a suspicion um right right at the point that it was revealed i started to feel that something was a bit off about one of the characters and i did definitely um get that right in the end uh, but other than that, I had no clue at all about what was going on with everybody else. And I really appreciated that. This book, it wasn't a complete unput downable book, but it was one that once I had it in my hands, I had to keep reading. In fact, to the point where I actually had to put it down, make myself put it down so I could go to sleep because I had to work the next day. And I had to be functioning at work because I've been on the half days while I get myself settled into my new place um so yeah so i really really enjoyed it um so it's actually the 5th of march i finished uh survive the night yesterday yesterday afternoon um so i now need to go on and pick the next book because like i said i finished survive the night thoroughly enjoyed it and but i need to move on and i've really got the bug for reading so let's have a look and see what the next choice is going to be i'm going to do what i've done before I'm going to screenshot uh, the recording of the selection and I'll pop it up next for you. So now I've finished the first book, which was a book set in the 90s. Let's pick my second read for March. A novella for a series. The randomizer has picked out a novella for a series. Um, I haven't actually got any series on the go that would be that have any novellas in them. So what I've decided to do is start a new series and it's the Cougar Creek Mates series by Felicity Heaton. And the first book is called Claimed by Her Cougar. It's about Rath, who is the head of a Cougar Shifter clan um, in, somewhere in America and uh, about Ivy, who is a nature photographer, I think. Uh, there is a gathering of the clans happening around Cougar Creek. It's a dangerous time to be in the area because there's lots of mating heat involved. And Rath comes across Ivy and doesn't want her on his land. And he tries to get rid of her. Partly for her own safety, partly because he doesn't uh, want humans on his land. And it's about how they fall in love from there. So... This is going to be my next pick. Um, it's another romance, so it's falling squarely in the mood reading at the moment, which I appreciate. And I'll come back in a day or two and let you know how I got on with it. Hello again. So last time I spoke to you, I was about to start reading the next book for March. And that book was Claimed by Her Cougar by Felicity Heaton. This was a pick to read a novella in a series. And I finished it. Uh, it was a really short read. It was only about 180 pages. So it's really, really short. Really enjoyed it. As I said in the previous clip, it was about Ivy, who is a human, and Raph, who is a cougar shifter. And Ivy has wandered onto Raph's land and he doesn't want her there. One, because he's afraid that it will bring hunters to his land and will be uh, making it dangerous for the rest of his pride. And two, because um, his pride are meeting and uh, a human female is just going to be a complication that he doesn't want to have to deal with. And this was really sweet. It was really fast paced. Um, like I say, you've got to get a love story in 180 pages. The love story happened over a couple of days. So it happened really, really quickly. Um, it wasn't that believable uh, from that perspective. But it was just the, the slice of escapism that I needed. Um, so I did really enjoy it. And... Again, I'm looking forward to moving on. I've always enjoyed Felicity Heaton's writing. I think I've said before, she's one of the earliest paranormal um, romance writers that I discovered um, 10 or so years ago. And I've always enjoyed what she's written. I never left feeling dissatisfied. And yeah, I do recommend her, especially if you're new to maybe romance and paranormal romance, uh, supernatural romance. 
then definitely give her a go because she's definitely a good place to start. So now all I have to do is to pick the next book that I'm going to read and that will be the next clip that I show you is me running the uh, randomizer app. I actually ran it while I was at work because I finished Claimed by Her Cougar at work. So there's no talking. Um, so yeah, so it is just going to be a short clip of me picking the next prompt. So that has picked out a third book in a series, which I should have known was going to happen. Um, if I was going to continue on with the series, it wasn't going to pick the second book in the series so I could continue the one that I've just started. No, no, it's going to pick the third. So I've actually got a collection on my Kindle that is called Series Sequels. So I've just scrolled through that one to find the third books in a series. And I've only got one that I'm up to the third book. And that is the Asylum for Magical Threats series by Jessie Donovan. This is a series that she started writing many years ago. Um, but she hasn't really carried on. So we've got four books. Um, and she's got no plans at the moment to go back to them. But I'm working my way through them because, as with Felicity Eaton... I've really enjoyed everything that Jesse Donovan has written, so I'm looking forward to picking this one up. We are moving away from the group uh, that the series followed in the first two books. In this one, we're following two new characters that we've been introduced to, Sabrina and George. Sabrina is an undercover agent working to bring down the terrorist cell who are um, going after a group of magical uh beings called the Feyru. They live uh, amongst humans. They look human. They are, they're kind of an alternative race of humans. Um, and then where George is uh, trying to escape from the terrorist cell um, and he's given the opportunity to escape, but he has to help bring them down from the inside. So he turns to Sabrina for help. They uh, have past history and it's going to be how they resolve their past history with each other, their past issues with each other, and find their way back to how they fell in love with each other. So it's another romance. And um, yes, I'm looking forward to more romance in my life. And I will let you know how I get on with it in a day or two. Hi. Um, it's almost two weeks later. Uh, since I filmed that last clip um, after that I got sick um, I had a really really nasty head cold that came with an extremely nasty sore throat um, I actually ended up going to see the doctor and the doctor said that I had a viral infection nothing they could do about it I just had to ride it out anyway I lost my voice this is the strongest that my voice has been for about two weeks now um, and yeah, I'm, uh, I, I've carried on reading, which was good. Um, uh, but yeah, I just couldn't continue with the vlog. So I'm going to wrap up the first half of the month um, in this video. And then for the rest of the books that I read in March, I will do a more traditional style sit down wrap up uh, when we get to the end of the month, because we're not quite there yet. So that will be uh, my next filming project. But I thought I would get on now that my voice is holding out and I can have a conversation without cracking um, I thought that I would get on and finish off this particular video for you so the last book that I talked about was Shadow of Temptation by Jessie Donovan this is the third book in her Asylum for Magical Threat series it's a series that she started um, she's written four books in it um, and then she's put it on the back burner because they weren't as successful as she'd like and people tend to pick up her uh, sci science fiction romance that she's written um, and also her dragon shifters which are phenomenal I absolutely adore them I really enjoyed this book and it was um, it was fun it wasn't as good as the first two I felt that it missed something in the telling uh, so the main characters had known each other previously had fallen in love with each other previously but hadn't told each other that that's how they felt. And then 
some events took place which meant they thought that they had betrayed each other and they didn't really talk about it properly in um when they came back together again so that left something in the telling for me something missing but i will go on and read the fourth book i'm looking forward to finishing the series as it is and i've got a few other books by jesse on my tbr so i'm hoping to get to them very soon as well because I, like i say i do enjoy her writing and she is constantly churning out her dragon books anyway um so definitely need to catch up with those series and yeah so this was my impromptu vlog style um that i tried to do let me know if you've enjoyed this video i've enjoyed filming it and i would entertain the idea of doing it again um and like i said um at the start of this clip the rest of my reading for the month i will do a more traditional style that will probably go up on the second monday of april as i normally would uh, with my filming schedule my normal videos go up at 6 30 p.m uk time on mondays if you've enjoyed this little impromptu additional uh, wrap up video then please comment down below and give me a thumbs up if you haven't already then please do subscribe to the channel and i look forward to seeing you in my next video bye <music>